Hey everyone, it's Deacon082. Welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Mono Water Challenge. And we're getting ready to take on Brawly. I just did a little bit of training up for these three, Blue Bunny, Ariel, and Stinger, to get them a little more on pace with the rest of my team. Because, you, I don't know how this gym battle's going to go. It probably won't be too bad, but it's better to be safe than sorry and have a few extra levels on the ones I probably won't be using. Ariel, in particular, has a super effective move in Peck, so yeah, could be useful. And Stinger has a resistance as well, in addition to Wingle having a resistance and a super effective attack. Um, we have, well, this is our strongest attack is Mud Shot, and then we have Mud Slap, and then we have, eh, I can't see any, any of these really being useful, but... Let's do this, Brawly Duford's Gym Leader, Fighting Titan, and not really a tough battle except for his last Pokemon, which we'll get to. Um, Machop goes down really easily in two wing attacks. Ah, that critical hit was uh, not nice, but I thought I had and gave Warren Berries to my entire team, pretty much. Okay, yeah, this is about what I expected, because now he's gonna heal. And it's honestly better that he uses his Super Potions on Machop. Um, now I'm gonna take a risk and go with Super Sonic, because he's gonna kill me if he attacks, and I can't kill it, and now I can. So, that's the risk, and those are the kind of risks you have to take. Now, next up is Metatite, and I'm not sure who to actually use. I'm looking to see who's close to evolving, or who's close to leveling up, and it's nobody, because, um... Wingull can take out Metatite easily. This Metatite will pretty much always spam Focus Punch, which means as long as you hit it every turn, he will never get to attack you, so really easy to take down. I'm just thinking if there's any, like, buffing you could have done, but there's really nothing because you have to attack him every turn. And then his Makuhita, and I'm going to start this battle by switching out I think the best bet to start this battle would be to go to Tulsa, because Makuhita likes to start out by using Bulk Up. Now it's its highest level at 19, it has Bulk Up in addition to uh, the normal attacking moves like Vital Throw, which is really powerful. I think starting off with Mud Slap, just lowering his accuracy. Now we're not going to do much damage with this, but the accuracy drops are what's important because a Vital Throw after a Bulk Up does just crazy amounts of damage. So if we can drop its accuracy to where it will miss with something, then it will be much easier. However, Vital Throw never misses, but he has to be forced to attack last. So maybe that was kind of stupid of me, but we know we're going to be attacking first, and if he uses Vital Throw, it's going to hit anyway. So. I probably didn't think that through well enough. Now I'm trying to see what would be the best way to do this, because we know if he uses Vital Throw that we're going to get to hit first, but he also has a defense boost, and he's in potion range if we don't kill him. So I'm thinking it might be beneficial to tail with him because we do have these Pokemon and he's gonna have a Citrus Berry, so that uh, changes everything. Um, defense Curl could be useful. I think Tail Whip is probably the best thing we can do here because Vital Throw is gonna probably one-hit us, so yeah. So Poison's not good either because I don't know exactly what ability he has either, so um, I'm thinking Aerial, and we could probably get one attack off. I'm thinking do a Supersonic and hope. Alright. Yes, okay. That was perfect. Now we can peck, and doesn't do much, but now he's in potion range. So, I mean, we couldn't, we, there's, we really couldn't have avoided that potion, so. He's gonna kill us with Vital Throw here, and... Well, we can, we can confuse him again with Stinger. Yeah, I knew that was going to miss eventually, but... We can survive it, and we have a berry, you know, on second thought. 
probably wasteful with those berries. But we're getting good luck with Confusion, and he's now out of potions, so if he hits himself one more time... Huh. Well, um... Well, we have Muchacho, and we're guaranteed to attack first if he goes for final throws, so, uh... Um, what is Nature Power doing here? Again, Swift, still, so... That'll almost do it, and... Oh, shit, Reversal! What the... What the crap? Why do you not show Reversal until the last minute? Wow. Okay, I got my ass handed to me. That was a pretty good fight, actually, because... Reversal, using it on the last turn, that's just wow. The wow factor in that fight. <laughs> okay, so... That didn't quite work out, but... <laughs> We can try this again. Brawly is one of the harder fights in the game. Just because he's high level and there's not a lot you can have at this point that's really good against him, so... We're gonna... Oh, well that that helps a lot. I was gonna hope we two hit, but we one hit instead. Um, now we can do whatever against Metatite. Um, I guess I'll go Pulse, because... Just use something that will always hit. You don't want to use moves that are less than 100% accuracy just because stuff can happen. And the only attacking move this guy has is Focus Punch, so special attacks are better because he has bulk up, but it really doesn't matter what you do in this fight as long as you keep attacking because you'll win eventually. And he's wasting the Super Potion on Metatite. Which, I mean, it's the perfect situation. He'll always save one of them for Makuhita, no matter how the battle goes. But, you don't want him to have two left on Makuhita. Actually, I was wrong about that. Maybe he'll only use one on Machop. But now, he only has uh, one Super Potion for Makuhita, which is... Uh, I'd say it's perfect for this fight, because... Now it should go much better, because he can't heal Makuhita and we can do the same type of situation. You know, Reversal didn't miss after three mud slaps, which is just kind of bad, so I'm thinking what I can do, because, um, well, we want to parallel, we want to uh, confuse him, do the whole confusing thing, so I think send out Stinger first. I mean, he's... He's at the point where he's just so powerful that I think even if he does have guts and he gets that attack boost, it wouldn't matter because he's probably going to one-shot us anyway. So I'm going to try to get a poison simply because he can't uh, heal anything. So if I can poison him, it's basically a win because we can stall out turns. And... He's just gonna spam bulk up, so... I mean, that's good for us, because we have some special attacks, and we get the poison, so... That's basically a win right there. Okay, but he does have two attack boosts now, so... The difference is in him having two attack boosts instead of one, but we can send in... Basically anything that has a special attack, and just whittle him down. So, water gun. And... Vital Throw's gonna kill, like, almost everything we have. I did forget about the Citrus Berry, though, so that's a lot of healing. But, uh, we're wearing him down pretty fast here. I can send in Stamps, and, um, at this point, Wing Attack's still probably better than Water Gun, even with two bulk ups, so, yeah. And that will do it, and we get no... Whoa, we do get experience, so... Um, who wants the experience in this case? Um, it doesn't matter. I've been neglecting Muchacho for a while, so we'll give Muchacho the experience from Makuhita. There we go. Level 15. And Brawly goes down. Yeah, Brawly just dominated us on that first fight with Reversal. Like, Brawly has really good AI having the strength to use reversal there. Okay, so we get the TM for bulk up, which a lot of Pokemon can learn. And I'm gonna see if anyone can, because it's it's a good utility move. Um 
None of ours currently can learn it, but I'm pretty sure at least one water type is able to. I know for a fact, almost confident that Crawdont can. I think some others can, but that won't be for a while. Uh, now we're done here. We can heal up. That was a almost brutal gym battle. Brawly. I know he's difficult, but uh, that didn't quite work out. So now, um, we're going to actually bring in Magikarp because I can get Speed Sherem up, and the next gym is Electric type. And I think when I'm going to do the uh, rotating is after each gym, and keep a set team for the next gym. As far as I know, we can't get any more water types before the next gym, because we've got everything we can get with the older odd and we can't surf, so I'm actually going to put stamps in the PC for now because the next gym is electric, and we probably won't be using it much, and we do have other flying type moves. We do have aerial with text, so it's not that important to have a flying type, and I can get the ESP share on Paul and get it to a Gyarados, probably, uh, by the next gym. But we don't have the ESP share, so we actually have to go pick it up. And the ESP share is located in a pretty convenient spot, and I don't think there's anything in the game that tells you to go get it. Let me check, because you might be able to, uh, call him and he'll say he has something for you, um, Mr. Stone. Yeah. Okay, the only way to know is if you call him and he'll tell you he has a reward for you. So, anytime after you deliver the letter, you can return to the Devoncorp in Rustboro. And he'll have the ESP share as a reward, which is really nice. Um, what is that? Stun score? I thought it was something else. Yeah. So... Yeah, it'll take me a bit to get back to Devon Corp because I'm doing this fight, so I'll meet you there, I guess. Ooh, I was having, like, a big coughing fit when I edited... Not when I edited, but during the part I cut out. Oh, now Rodsan calls us. So sometime after you defeat Brawly, she'll automatically register you. I, I knew... I, I mean, I know you can get her registered, but I just had to figure out when. So now we can go all the way up, and Mr. Stone, and here's the ESP share. This is actually the earliest you can get the ESP share in any game. You can get it before you fight Brawly, actually. So, for example, in my Diamond version, I, I really utilized the Pal Park because I had an Emerald version that I could just transfer on. It, you, if you wanted, you could get to do for and get the ESP share in like 45 minutes and then transfer over. So I had like five ESP shares and I could basically ESP share a full team up, which is pretty convenient. On that note of uh, registering Rossan, does anyone want a rematch? No, they don't. Okay, so at various times, they don't have to call you for this to happen, but it normally happens after you get phone calls. You can get uh, them calling you for rematches, and then you can just go anytime and go back and fight them. Usually, you can get two or three rematches with the same trainers over the course of the game, and it's just free experience, and it's faster than doing it off a of wild Pokemon. But for now, I think that's going to be all for this episode. Um, in the next episode, we're going to head for Slateport because we have to deliver uh, the Devon goods to the shipyard in Slateport. So we're done on Duford. We're heading to Slateport in the next episode. So this has been Deacon082 with Pokemon Emerald Water Type Challenge. And I will see you guys next time.